In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four options paperboard infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have designed this board uh, and I've put uh, option one here uh, with a different icon and with a different color combination. Then you can put the option two, option three and option four. I've used four different colors and at the bottom I've added some water effect here. So how this slide works is when I click, you can see here the water started moving and then even the boat also looks like it's floating on the water so likewise i have created two more slides where i have just used some images instead of this color so you can see here if you want you can just add some images like this or you can use some by default some patterns available on powerpoint you can use those also and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial to draw a boat go to the view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this triangle draw a triangle you can see here maybe this much size if you want you can just make it somewhat height also and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to place this at the bottom or you can i want to place it here for example all right and then i'm going to add a few more uh, rectangles so by pressing ctrl d it got duplicated i want to give some different color here maybe blue all right and then i'm going to increase its height all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to rotate it you can see here something like this and i'm going to put it like this all right if you want you can just increase the size also just make sure that the size is perfect it should not be overlapping or it should not be you know there should not be any gap so now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d let me just rotate it you can see a flip horizontal and i'm going to place this here at this end all right make sure that there is no gap all right if gap is there we need to correct it okay and once this is done i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color here all right maybe i'm going to give some green i can reduce the size a little bit make sure it is in center and send this to back all right and this one also i'm going to give some different color combination and this let me just give some kind orange all right so you can see here uh, i have made this design and if you want you can add some shadow effect at the bottom uh, the back side i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and give some light gray color and rotate it something like this make sure it is properly aligned here let me just zoom in you have to make sure that this is properly aligned all right so i'm just aligning this one then i'm just selecting this and send this to back all right if you want you can just reduce the size the moment you reduce the size then you have to again adjust it so make sure that you do it perfectly and then duplicate this one again flip horizontal and i'm going to place it here and then send this to back all right so you can see here the board design is ready so i can select this all press ctrl a to select all press ctrl g to group it and if you want you can hold the shift key reduce or increase the size so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it so you can see here our board design is ready now it's time uh, for you to put some options and if you like to add some kind of a flag or something you can just go here insert shapes even i think the flag is available here or i can just make one flag out of this one you can see here this shape shape outline no outline shape fill you can just give any color and then i'm going to add one rectangle draw one rectangle 
give the same color no outline select both of this press ctrl g to group it and send this to back and make sure it is properly aligned in the center so you can see here like this you can do it and then let's add the options if you're using the latest version you can just go to the icons and you can just add the icons of your choice so i'm just going to add four icons here it depends on your internet connection sometimes internet is slow it will take time to load the icons so the icons are loaded so let me just uh, select uh, some random four icons all right and then i'm going to bring this here or move this here and make the height and width as 0.5 only and you can change the color later on okay for example i'm going to put it maybe one here one here okay and one more in the center then you can just add the text first of all the title all right and then you can add some detailed text all right let me just center align this one reduce the font size all right and i'm going to place it like this select both of this and bring it here so this one press ctrl d here ctrl d for the center one and one for here now we just need to reposition the the icons here so you can see here the design is ready if you want i can just select all and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object let me just remove the guides so the design of the boat is ready the only thing you need to do is to add some water effect so let me just zoom out this one and then go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose this one the curve start from here outside the area of the the slide and then i'm just going to you know add kind of or some wave effect here you can see here some small some big whatever way you want and make sure that this should go beyond the slide size and then i'm going to make it something like this okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can choose any light color and if you want you can just duplicate this one and give some more darker color go to the customs increase a little bit and send this completely to back so you have got one wave effect and then you have got another wave effect here okay let me just bring it like this so now it's very easy to do the animation what i'm going to do is let me just zoom out again go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first one add animation okay more motion pass it should go towards the left all right click ok and this left should not go too much i'm just going to reduce a little bit here like this double click this remove the smooth start smooth end you can make it auto reverse timings medium until end of the slide click ok so it goes like this and i'm going to select this one animation painter click on the second this one and this time this animation i want from right so one will go left another will go right and this should happen both with previous so now if i play you can see here it comes something like this and for this boat also you can just select maybe you can just move it a little bit up and then you can give some uh, teeter effect here okay and this one should be with previous double click this all right timings make it very slow until end of the slide click ok and when i click you can see here it is something going like this all right